a trolling fly. Okay, here he comes. I'm gonna try for him. I got him! I got him! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that stud! Look at that stud of a rainbow! Oh my god! Look at that fish! What a beautiful fish! Oh my god! Oh! Wow! Look at that! <laughs> oh! Howdy guys, Kel Kellogg here. Um, I've been getting a question from a lot of viewers, um, whether they're guys that have bought my fly kits or they've gone out and found their own flies, whatever. Um, they're asking me, how do I rig flies? And I've shown this several times on the channel, but I get it, man. I put up a lot of videos. Sometimes I put up two, three videos a day and uh, things can get buried in you know multiple levels of, of videos. And if you don't go on the channel and do a bunch of searching, the stuff might not be readily available, especially to the new viewers out there. So the question is, I got one of your fly kits and I've got these beautiful flies and I've got these wiggle discs and I don't know what to do with them. How do I rig them up? How do I troll them? How do I fish them? Well, here's how I do it. And I've got one rigged up here that I was fishing with just the other day. And look at that, look at that pink and white fly. That thing is phenomenal looking. So, and of course the wiggle discs. All that stuff is included in my kits. Um, you get 10 flies, you get a bunch of wiggle discs, stuff like that. What you need to pick up is some eight pound test fluorocarbon line. The leader is very simple. Take a section of fluorocarbon line that's about 40 inches long, uh, 48 inches long. It could be 36 inches long. You know, there's no set length, but get a, you know, a good length piece of eight pound test fluorocarbon. Tie your fly on with a Pelomar knot and leave a little bit of tag end like I did right there. And you know, if you've had these rigged up for a while, make sure you check your line for you know, nicks and, and rough spots and stuff like that because I rig these up and I, I just wrap them around a, a pool floaty so I could change flies kind of at will without tying any knots out on the water. But anyway, so make sure you got a good line on there. But tie your fly on uh, with a Pelomar knot and again, that's eight pound test fluorocarbon line. And then before you do anything else, take your wiggle disc Okay, right there, and slide that on the line so it can ride, as you troll it through the water, right up on the nose of the fly, just like that, okay? And then up here on the upper end, just tie a surgeon's loop in the leader. Now, if you've watched my videos, you know that all my rods are rigged up the same way. I take my main line, I put on a bead, and then I put on a trolling swivel snap that loop right there on that trolling swivel, put it in the water, you know, peg your speed anywhere from one to two miles an hour, put that fly at the desired depth and uh, get ready to go big because most of the big fish, or at least I should say a lot of the big fish I catch every year come on a trolling fly rig just like that. Trolling fly going along at maybe 1.8 miles an hour, wiggle disc working right on its nose, eight pound test fluorocarbon leader, a leader that's anywhere from 36 to 48 inches long, snap directly to a trolling swivel. Most of the time, I'm trolling that off one of my hybrid lead core rigs. Um, you've seen it a lot here on the channel, man. That rig flat out fishes and uh, it is a great rig to pair with flies. If you're trolling in the top 25 feet of the water column, put on a fly and uh, you are gonna be amazed by the results. Give it some time and flies will become one of your absolute favorite offerings because they flat out perform on the water. I hope that clears up that question for a lot of you guys out there. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off. If you'd like to get your hands on a kit of my trolling flies, go on over to fishhuntshoot.com. Check out my store. You'll see my yellow lead core rods, fly kits, grub kits, all that stuff and more. I want to thank you guys for all the support and I will catch you next time right here on YouTube. I'm signing off and my name's Kel Kellogg. Thanks a lot guys. Have a good day.